Usually when I throw one of these grub worms in, one chicken runs around and the others chase him. So today I've got five of them. I'm gonna throw all five in at the same time and see if their greediness still kicks in. I'm wondering if they're gonna be confused because I've only fed them one at a time. I'm wondering if they're gonna run away and then come back really quickly to get another one. So there's five chickens and we have five of these huge grub worms that I've dug out of my garden. So let's see what happens. Here we go. Let's let them see it first. And then we throw them in. One of them is not even getting them. I just don't understand. I did feed them a lot this time, so maybe they're just full. What I mean is I threw one in at a time, probably about eight of them. And now I threw five more. So this is not what I expected at all. There's actually one sitting there, not being eaten at all. And we have two chickens over here fighting for one. And I guess they're just not as smart as, smart as I thought they'd be. <laughs> I know they're not smart in general, but. Oh, now he's chasing him. I don't even realize there's one on the ground. There he goes. There she goes. <laughs> so I guess I'll do a garden update. Got a large red cherry planted. A red pear planted, a campari, and then another red pear over there. This is the garden with the uh, poly sheeting, no roots, 100% leaves. It's about March 26, I guess. And a couple weeks ago, or actually this week, I planted beans. The beans are growing. Starting to sprout. Let's see if I can see. I also planted some spinach in here. I leave the boards up so the birds don't eat the seeds. There's one. And I planted spinach and lettuce seeds all along here. And same thing in this garden. The beans are start starting to sprout. There's one. There's another one. I've never done beans before. That should be interesting. Let's see if I can get this guy in camera. <laughs> oh, little lizard. And I'll show you asparagus. So when asparagus grows, you don't see much evidence of it growing because usually you eat it before it sprouts too tall. If you let it go this long, then you've waited too long. But otherwise you get these spears. These are small ones. We get thicker ones, but some of the plants are female. I guess this is a female plant. Here's another little one. But you can eat them as well. Here's a very female one. <laughs> I think I might have planted this last year from seeds. And you can see when you snap them off, they just kind of die to the ground. <laughs> 